Hi YouTube, it's your girl Ash and today I'm back with another video. It is Tuesday, so that means Tag Tuesday and today's tag is the Day and Night Tag and it was originally by Read Again. If that's how you pronounce it. If not, I'm sorry. And it will be linked in the description down below. It's a pretty self-explanatory tag. So I'm just going to get right into the question so that the video isn't too long. First up is D. Do you read more in the morning or at night? I found recently I read more at night. A. Are there any books that change the way you thought about things? There is a book. And I'm going to get it for you. And that book is What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard. Forgive me if I mispronounce it. This book releases on, I think, the 6th of June. And it just let me know that there was a lot of things that I did not know or understand about eating disorders when I thought that I did. And so I'm very grateful to this book. And there might be a review coming um, on the day that this releases. A non-spoilery review. So stay tuned for that. Why? YA or not? If you are watching my channel, then you know that it is YA. Yes, I am very big into YA. I'm branching out this year. But YA is heart and soul. A is, are there characters that you honestly believe are real? Are you trying to tell me Madness Bane, the High Wheel Lock of Brooklyn, is not real? I just refuse to believe that. Nope. Next question. No, N. Nobody touches my books or I don't mind loaning my books out. No one touches my books unless they live in the house with me because I have given out I gave out a book previously before a friend wanted to read it and never gave it back to me and that was like six seven years ago so I definitely don't load out books D do you smell your books mm, no uh, to each his own but no in not everyone loves books. Is this a positive or a negative? I feel like this is a negative personally because without books, you don't get knowledge. Books are very powerful things. Everyone should read something, I feel like, all the time. And, you know, but I don't want to judge. But I think that it that you really need to read, even if it's not the most intellectual piece ever. It helps your brain in the end. And my mom just read a study that if you read at least one book um, a week and on into your old age, you're less likely to get old Alzheimer's. Forgive me, I'm country. That's how I say it. So I think it is very important to read. Okay. I, I keep my books in the best condition or maybe not. Which are you? Um, I don't. I really don't, honestly. As long as I can read sentences out of it and it doesn't stop me from reading, I don't care. I've had books and multiple books. I've cracked the spine. A lot of my books are secondhand. That's the way that I save money and I'm able to read a lot in a year. And so they come damaged. Like some of the books that I have in the hall that should have went up yesterday or it's going up tomorrow. You'll see a lot of them were damaged, so it doesn't bother me. G, gosh, I have too many books, true or false. Um, for someone who does booktube compared to other booktubers, it'd be false. I don't really have a lot. H, have you ever spilled or stained your books before with something? And if so, how... Usually water because I tend to drink water when I read. I have spilt food on them because sometimes I eat when I read my books. And there's been like ketchup stains. Forgive me for my chair making noises. There's been ketchup stains and stuff on my books. 
Okay. And T, toned or untoned while reading. Or in other words, do you read and work out at the same time? <laughs> What's working out? What's that? <laughs> no, I'm playing. I don't. When I read, I focus on my reading. Usually I cut the cut everything off that's electronic, TVs, computers, and I just will dedicate an hour or two to reading my book and then I'll take a break and if I feel you know, if I want to I'll go back to reading. Okay, so that was all the questions for the day. And night tag, as I stated, it was started by Read Again, whose original video will be linked in the description down below. Um, in the comment section for me, can you answer one of the questions? And if you are coming across this video, this video, and you have a YouTube channel and you want to do it, you can just say that I tagged you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and follow me on all of my social medias, which will be linked in the description down below. And as always, until we meet again, bye.